Hi, today we're gonna to talk about cutting up dog treats because everybody always asks me, what kind of dog treats do you use when you train your dogs? I like to use good old fashioned human food. So I've got some cheese, I've got some pepperoni. I like this because the dogs seem to really, really enjoy these, I call them high value treats because they don't usually get access to this stuff and it's cheap and you know that it's healthy because you can eat it. So I thought today I'd show you just a couple of things I do. This is just Colby Jack cheese. You just get it um, in the big packs. This is just straight pepperoni. What I like to do, it's important that your treats are pea-sized, okay? So I've got some already cut up here, and this is about the, the right size treat. It's just tiny, easy for the dog to eat, quick to eat, um, doesn't require a whole lot of chewing and doesn't leave any crumbs behind. So I thought I'd just show you, I just cut a regular block of cheese in half and then I sliced up some, about a quarter of an inch, sliced some pieces and now I'll just show you real quick how easy it is to make your own dog treats. Just gonna take your knife. I, st I like to stack them up, just so much faster when you stack them up. I just slice through them. Again, about a quarter of an inch thick. I just slice that way, come back through. And what you see is now I've got a bunch, once I crumble them apart, I've got a bunch of these little treats. I will do that for this entire block of cheese and I'll have enough treats with this and with the pepperoni to last me about a week. And I typically like to put it um, just into a little Ziploc or Gladware container, just throw it right in the fridge. So that's how the cheese works. And like I said, these little tiny pieces, perfect for um, little dogs, um, even great for the big dogs like the Great Danes. So here's the pepperoni. It's just a straight pepperoni stick. Um, the only trouble with these are you have to keep, um, if you have kids or a husband or a wife in the house, you have to keep them away while you're cutting this up because what happens is all the dog treats get eaten by the people in the house. That's what happens in this house. So I just made, I don't know, six or seven slices here of, of pepperoni. And again, quarter inch thick probably. And all I'm gonna do with this is, same thing, a couple slices long ways, a couple slices the other way. And what you're gonna have are lots of you don't have to be neat about it. It really doesn't matter if one's a little bigger than the other. What you have are these great little treats. And here's the coolest thing. When you get hungry yourself, which is what I do sometimes, I just eat the treats. I just eat one for the dog and one for me. A little bit of cheese, a little bit of sausage, and it's delicious. And we have a hangers on right here. <laughs> a helper. Um, in case there are any mistakes. In case I make any mistakes with the uh, with a the knife, they're happy to clean it up. So this right here, really two easy, fast ways to make treats for your dog, really inexpensive. And you know that the treats are good for them. They're not filled with anything gross, like added fillers or, um, oh God, you know, the byproducts. This is all human grade food. You got it right from the grocery store. So hopefully this will help you figure out what to, what to feed your dog when you're training and um, your training sessions will go more smoothly and your dogs will be really interested in the things that you have. For more fast, fun, and easy dog training tips, visit Smart Dog University. You can subscribe to the videos and you can also leave a comment below.